So alhamdulillah guys, obviously for today's video, we're going to be reacting about something very intriguing. But before we get into that, I got my guest here, Brother Ridwan. How you been, bro? Alhamdulillah, brother. Uh, you know, I just landed back home. Alhamdulillah, man. Can't complain, bro. And for the second time, if you guys don't remember, Brother Hamza from the Eid vlog. Yeah. Uh, he's finally here. So, Brother Hamza, how you been, man? Yeah, alhamdulillah. I mean, things are going good, you know, enjoying life. So these guys don't know, neither you guys know. I mean, you read, you, I mean, pretty sure you read the title but we're going to be reacting to a video that went viral a few years ago and it's about basically a question where this man went around asking people i'm pretty sure it's america right uh he asked people he asked morally women and you know there's also men involved in the video where he asked them uh, what age did they lose their virginity so inshallah we're gonna get into the video and we're gonna react and we're gonna give our intake as we go by we're just joined here with taryn taryn nice to meet you where are you from texas Texas. You're just here visiting? No, I live here now, but I'm originally from Texas. Oh, cool, cool, cool. So today we're asking, uh, how old were you when you lost your virginity? Uh, 19. Okay, and was that with like a boyfriend? No, it was just with this guy that I had a crush on when I was a teenager. Is it something you regret or? Oh, yeah. Okay. <sighs> if, if you could change anything about that, what would you change? Um, who it was. I would definitely change... I would wait till it was someone that I either loved or deeply cared about. Before I say my intake, do you have anything to say on that? Yeah, I was gonna say, like, you hear that a lot. Like, people lose lose their virginity like relatively young, and they always there's always they, there's always some regret about it. Whether it's a person, place, time, something or the other, there's always some regret that they have about how they did it, when they did it, or anything like that. Mm -hmm. And even well, I'm pretty sure we're gonna hear more about it. But even like when you read like stories online or even in a lot of other videos, people say, no, wait for the right person, wait for the right time. Because they did it themselves, they did it their own way, they, they regretted it. What about you? What do you think, bro? Honestly, I'm going to second that. But, um, you know, it's, it's pretty normal in this society, right? Um, it's just sad. I mean, it's a pretty shameful act. But it's gotten to a point whether if you speak about it, it's like, if you don't do it, you're just deemed, you know, very, um, you know, how can you put it? You're deemed like, you know, you're, you're, you're not, you're not from this society, right? It's like, it's like so normalized to a point. It's kind it's of like dangerous. Yeah, they're basically outcast you, right? Like right in front of your face too, right? You get bullied a lot if you, if you, if you don't do it. So it's, it's like stigmatized, right? So if, if, if there's no way out of it, you have to do it just to, to stick out. But that's the whole reality of this dunya, right? Uh, it's a test man and um no oh, alhamdulillah bro and even me man i'm thinking about what she said uh she she talked about how she didn't even love the person and she had the most intimate aspect of her life you know when you're having intimacy with somebody and, and she didn't even love the person like imagine uh, it's sad, it, 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 it sad and this is potentially you can impregnate yourself right oh yeah carry a you know obviously people want to abort nowadays but besides the point is it shows us a society as we think we're so progressive and so ahead are we really progressing cared about in some form or fashion not just a boy that i met on myspace <laughs> how old were you when you lost your virginity i was 14. okay and was that with your boyfriend um it was through one of my brother's friends mm -hmm. so it was just a friend okay and did you love him no <laughs> is it so <laughs> I'm not trying to laugh but just like we said you know this just yeah. adds into the point what no, do you think yeah. I'm so this girl needs a kick <laughs> yo honestly this girl needs a <laughs> kick bro what are you what are you doing with it what are you doing what are you, what are you <laughs> there's no words brother's friend oh uh, man yeah sorry, brother's you know, friend I saw my opportunity so I know, took it took it and yo what do you think about that Bro, subhanAllah, man, um, I, I'm lost at words, bro. 14, dog. Damn, bro, that, that's that's like what you're learning about equations that time, man. But bro, she's a she's a she's really progressive, man. She's ahead of her time, bro. She's left everybody else behind, bro. She's out there doing her thing, you know. Well, like, that's how they think, you know. Well, like, girl that, power. That, that girl's a testament to what Edwan said earlier about how it's just a standard now. That's just what you gotta do. That's what you gotta aim for. Man. Yeah. Legit, bro. Sad. Sad. Something you regret or? Um, kind of because it was just kind of like a one night thing. Yeah. So, yeah. 
Okay, and if there's anything you could change about that experience, what would you change? Um, probably waiting until like we were actually something yeah. instead of like just doing it as friends, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, fifteen. Okay. And was this a girlfriend? No, nah, no. Okay. Did you love her? No. Um, was it awkward or how was the experience? Uh, exciting, I guess. <laughs> All right, all right, fair enough. If you could change anything about that experience, would you change it? Uh, I know. All right, so we're just joined here with? Maria. Maria, nice to meet you. I'm Adrian. Nice to meet you. And today we're just asking a few questions. Um, first of all, how old were you when you lost your virginity? Oh, um, 17. Okay, and was that with a boyfriend? Yes, it was. And did you love him? Uh, I think so, yeah. <laughs> All right, Taryn, well, that's pretty much it. So we're just doing He asks her, uh, was he your boyfriend? And she's like, mm. She goes, uh. And she has to think. There's a second thought. Did you really love him? Again, she's thinking. So it gets to show you that, uh, you know, people lie to themselves so much to a point that they actually start to believe it. What's your take, bro, on that? Bro, you know, if you, if you got a second guess, a quote-unquote love, right? That ain't love, bro. That's lust, fam. You know what I'm trying to say, right? So it's, it's, it's more of a, she could put it in a better word if she is that, you know, like out and about. She could have just said it was like, a, you know, I, I think so. It's not, it's not, it's not like, it, love doesn't go three, four ways. It goes two ways, bro. Either you love it or not, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, I agree with you, bro. Hey, what about you, Hamza? Anything to add on? Or you lost of words? Yeah, I mean, there... It's, like it's 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 sad that like an act that in itself is is like such an intimate act is reduced to literally nothing animalistic yeah like that that that's it that's all it's become now like something that was that's it's on it's sacred like it's it's made it's a sacred thing to do and now it's just it's like a what do you call it it's like a fun thing to do for mating season. Yeah, it's, like. fun. Yeah. it's also was it? it's a commodity. It's something you can yeah. buy as well. Yeah. 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 Easily. Like, yeah. what? Yeah. Only fans? Man. Exactly, exactly. Easy, easy. And, and you know, like God talks about the Prophet Joseph in the Quran. God says, and as Muslims, we believe this life to be a test. We believe God has created all of this as a means to test us which one of us is our best indeed. In the man's eye, he has beautified the woman. And in the woman's eye, he has beautified the world. And we all like these things. It's not wrong to like these things. But the way you go about it and your how. So people, you know how they claim, hey, God, God, if you didn't make me like that, I'm always, you know, I love women, God, I, I can't control myself. So same thing with food then. We can make that argument. Oh, I love food, right? Go kill, stab a man, you know, do things recklessly. No, we, we, we need food, but there's a way to go about it. That's the difference between a human and an animal. An animal just reacts on his desires. A human, Allah has given us, God has given us intellect. We think twice. We reflect, more contemplate. Twice. More than twice. Exactly. So the, the resistance, the human being has the resistance not to act on emotions, which animals don't. But what happens is now, society is lowering this term to just, I'll say it's animalism, right? And then another yeah, term. Might as well. People are going like, oh, women empowerment. You go sell your body. It's empowering. Bro, that's sla slavery. <laughs> it's just, you're, you're, uh, yeah, slavery. That's it. The way they go on a boat, it's like the whole world is just a village. No, it's not too away, man. Like, the sign of the times, right? Like, recently we were just talking about how time passes so quickly. Like, I went there for a month thinking, oh my God, it's going to be such a long month. And I just landed today, and it's like, subhanAllah, I just yeah. went back in a blink of an eye. Yeah. Right? And Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, you know, 
time going away fast, like time passing quickly, is a, is a, is, a, one, is a very big sign of uh, the day of judgment coming near, right? That the hour is coming near. So we, need, we as Muslims, as humans, we need to contemplate where we are going as the human race, man. You know what I'm saying? We're not making this video to put any of the people down in the video. We're making this solely just to make society and you know our younger people out there to reflect, whether you're a guy or a girl. And we're in the you're in the West. You're being tempted all the time, right? Whether you're a girl, whether you're a, a, a guy, and uh, you know whether you're Muslim or whether you're a person who's contemplating about God and contemplating about the purpose of your life, and you're contemplating whether and you've not done this yet, and you're contemplating whether to go for this or not. You know, my advice and all the from all from my brothers, our advice would be to think twice, think about it. If you do not want to think, think about the, the, the afterlife aspect, think about the worldly aspect. That you're going to be violated. As a guy as well, you're going to be violated. You're giving your heart out. Women, you're giving your, your, your most sacred, you're, you're giving your secrecy out. You know, you're not making the guy work for it. And the guy himself, he's not honoring the woman. You know, so he's not thinking that this is somebody's daughter, somebody's future uh, he is, is somebody's sister. We have to think for people the way we think for ourselves. Imagine if somebody did that to your sister and was on video talking about that. Would you like that? Be honest, bro. Bro, like, I'm, I'm only 18. I can do so much. Why do you think I don't do it, man? I can go and do it, but I protect myself because I know this dunya is not for me, bro. I'm a freaking stranger in this dunya. I'm going out, I'm going to go to my grave alone in a, probably a white cloth, white piece of cloth. Then the real things start so now it's up to you bro whether you're gonna you're gonna you know die in you know forever and in the fire or would you do you have all the desires you have you you had in the dunya wow. for the akhirah right so it's like it's like the dunya is to resist temptation and the akhirah is to have temptation you know what i mean well like you said you obviously think twice but also what exactly you're thinking about you think think about what it is exactly don't think about what other people see it as don't think about it even what you see it as think about it the action in itself think about like like the real aspects of the action of the process of the aftermath mm. all of that mm. so once you once you see clearly whether it's through yourself or with help exactly what it is then you can make a decision whether it's worth doing it or not because you, very easily you can be pushed by other people you can have certain uh, talk constantly fed into you that oh it's like this it's like this it's not like that but you know in your heart if you look at it with um, realistically with intellect that you know that Allah has given us you can see it's not for you it's not for anyone it's not supposed to something you should do so you know think think about think about it realistically think about it intellectually and think about it over and over again so brother Saad um, what's your whole take on this and uh, I know we've given our opinions and thoughts First of all, bro, like, subhanAllah, jazakallah khair for all you guys, you know, first of all, for even, you know, partaking in this. And my, my, my main advice and our main advice would be to understand that this may look alluring to you, you know. But the lifestyle, I swear to God, all these adult workers, these Hollywood actors, they cannot sleep at night. They're miserable. Because as many as women they may have, they still don't have that true muhabba, compassionate love. They don't have that true love. There's always a motive behind that. And that's the thing. When you run after this, the Prophet ﷺ said, if you give a child of Adam one mountain of gold, right, he won't, he won't be satisfied until another, until another, and then he won't be satisfied again. Until you keep giving him, he won't, he won't want more. Until dust fills his belly, meaning he dies. So this desire thing will eat you but you won't be able to even touch it. So understand that this in the West, people may hype it. You know, uh, movies all the time, even dramas, they're depicting this, these type of relationships all the time, all the time. Yeah. right? So it's being enforced in you. And I don't know, as a girl or as a guy, young guy, you're, you're, you're looking up to this. You're like, yo, I can't wait to smash that thing, you know? But brother, smashing that thing, won't, won't, don't do, it won't do anything. It'll only bring you misery. Right? Allah says, "Wala taqrabu zina, inna kana fahishatun wa sa'asabila," and do not go near illegal sexual intercourse. For verily, it is a very dark and gloomy and an evil path to take. Right? Allah says, "Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu, la 
don't follow the khutuwat al shaytan the footsteps of the devil he comes to you slowly 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 you know you start to say hey i work with her in the library she's like a sister to me you have heard that you guys probably heard that many yeah. times oh, she's like a sister to me but allah says in the quran fala tazakku anfusakum do not ascribe purity to yourself so you saying that you're indirectly saying that yo you're good you got this under control when you don't so our whole her whole point with this video is acceptance see these people the mistake they've made is they've now come publicly and professed that look i slept with a man i didn't even know right and now alhamdulillah as allah has given us the guidance we've coming we're coming publicly and we're saying that what they're doing is wrong and it is wrong it's not what we said it's what god said right so to wrap it up to short don't let these opinions or these uh, adverts or these uh, movies deceive you